Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. This is the furnace we use to keep our house in Poland warm in winter. We use it to burn solid fuel and it's got a microcontroller on top. Like most central heating systems, this one has an electric pump which pumps the water round this loop, through the radiators and back round to the furnace where it gets reheated and recirculated. There's a microcontroller on top which enables you to set the water temperature and the temperature that the pump comes on and various things. I thought it would be fun to make a Raspberry Arduino version. I've got two temperature sensors, one here in the pump loop and one down here which is measuring the water temperature in the furnace. I've got those being measured by the analog inputs of a Raspberry Arduino and they're being measured and the temperatures shown in real time. This one's showing 13 degrees for the temperature of the water in the furnace, hence the F, and here we've got 11 degrees temperature of the water in the pipe. That's because the furnace isn't being used at the moment. So I've got a Raspberry Pi B+, a Raspberry Arduino, a Pi Hut Wi-Fi dongle, and two temperature sensors and an LCD screen. The Duino is talking to the Raspberry Pi through serial and sending the values of the readings from the temperature sensors. That means because of the Wi-Fi link, I can log in from any other computer. I can monitor what's happening without having to come downstairs and look at the screen. Ultimately, I plan to add a couple of relays and completely replace the original microcontroller, which controls the pump speed and also the speed of this fan. So this is where I'm going to light it. So before I light the fire both the water in the furnace and the water in the pump loop are both at 12 degrees. Let's light the fire and see how quickly we can change that. Okay, now I'm going to close this off and switch on the pump. Now I'm going to close this off and switch on the fan. Close that off for safety. Just going to put some coal in. You'll notice that this temperature isn't changing and the reason is because the water pump won't switch on until this temperature reaches 35 degrees. This is the microcontroller and let's check what the temperature set at. It's set at 45 degrees. So what that means is the fan will be switched off when 45 degrees is reached. When this reaches 35 degrees, the pump will start circulating the water. It's going to happen quite soon, and when it does... LED will come on. The water pump over there will start pumping. And the temperature in the pipe loop should start going up. which it does. What very often happens when you first light the fire is you get a little bit of overshoot. So although we've set it at 45, you get a bit of overshoot and the fan is now off because the temperature is well above 45 and it will stay that way. What I plan to do is replace this microcontroller with a Duino based system and two relays that will give me much better control. So here I have three SSH sessions open to three separate Raspberry Pis. Let's get rid of two and just concentrate on the one to start with. This Raspberry Pi is the one that you see on top of the furnace with the Duino on it. This shows you the furnace temperature and the pipe loop temperature. This SSH session is connected to a second Raspberry Pi in the office 
with a sensor on the radiator and another one just loose in the room showing the radiator temperature and the general ambient office temperature. And this one is to a third Raspberry Pi which is reading two sensors just sat in the middle of the room. This gives me a way of being able to monitor the heating system without having to go two floors down to the basement to have a look at what's happening, which is really convenient. If you fancy having a go at something like this for yourself, it really isn't that hard. Get hold of a Raspi Arduino and go through the step-by-step -step instructions towards the back of the user guide. It tells you all about how to use analog inputs, serial port, and then it shows you how to use an I squared C LCD. So all I've done here is combine several of these things into one sketch. So if you feel like it, come on over and have a look at the Raspi Arduino page. I've had an awful lot of fun with mine and I'm using it for real world things. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.